Patrick, I wonder if I could uh, gauge your interest in playing more Dead Island. Uh, well, as the as the two defenders of, of Dead Island, <laughs> I I, yeah. I disliked how that game ended, but that doesn't that, that didn't taint all the enjoyment I had, especially I would say probably in the first ten hours of that game. Yeah, like we're just. I kept playing because I, I wanted the game to continue being as good as that. Basically, the first island area. Right. And it just kind of a steady descent from there. Couldn't agree more. Uh, but I deep loved that first 10 hours. I still want to go back and play that. Just the first area the, the, the co-op resort. With, with, with some friends. The resort like. stuff is, is so good. Uh, well, hey, they've put out uh, some DLC. Okay. Which is, this uh, is the second DLC, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. They put out the arena, which was just like new copy voucher code DLC. Free for anybody who bought it, uh, but this is actually you know for ten dollars, uh, and I'm gonna spoil the end of Dead Island. You play as the villain. Oh, you remember that guy? Oh yeah, that yeah. final boss battle. He that was, wasn't I mean, he's very basically good. you know he's the he's the disembodied voice throughout the entire game, right? Telling you what to do, and then the f big fucking shock. You get to the end of the game and you fight him. You didn't see that coming. No. Nope. Yeah, yeah, you did. Uh, so, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is like two weeks before the game, uh, starts, so they're just sort of trying to... So the outbreak has occurred, Yeah, but it's... it's like has just happened, and they're trying to set up, I guess, you know, th he was one, of, obviously, one of the commandos that went in, and they're trying to kind of set up what, what went wrong with him. I think it's kind of lame that they didn't get, because they have a voice actor for this guy, but they didn't get him to record this, because, uh, all the oh, other... Oh, that's right, because all the other all characters... All the other characters have, like, a, <laughs> have a voice, uh... Yeah, what, what you said, sister. We are the 99. <laughs> uh, well, actually, I'm pretty sure the zombies are the 99. Nah, you're there's, probably right. There's, there's a lot of them. There's way more <laughs> the of them. The survivors are the 1% in this scenario. There, there's way more of them than there are of us. Uh, there's no co-op in this. This, you, this is just you, because okay. you're just playing him. Uh, they don't even try to just not even concede it? Like, nope, nope. Okay. Uh, which is... Uh, Kind of illustrative of the issue I have with this thing so far, which is that they seem to have kind of taken out most of the stuff that I liked about Dead Island, which is a real shame, but uh, we'll get to that. Uh, I don't know what's going on here. This is uh, this is obviously the setup for his involvement in all this mess. Are they are they trying to set up that he was just doing he was just doing his job, and that the up the higher ups are the, really the ones that are to blame? That kind of seems to be the case. I don't remember enough about how the ending of Dead Island plays out. Oh, he paused there. You sure about that soldier? He seems to have an emotional attachment. going on what trying to put the pieces together I'm not sure uh, hmm. what button are they talking about because at the end of the game they try to man we are just blowing that ending wide open not that it's a good ending but uh, at the end of the game they try to nuke the island you know yeah to, to get rid of the infection uh, so could that be the button they're talking about I guess or is it a virus related thing or are they just like testing like, his those well, they were definitely testing his resolve there. I'm just not sure what what those shadowy figures. Like did, and they did they actually mean were. a physical button? Yeah. Well, yeah. Obviously, he's got to do something. He's got. He's trying to make something drastic happen for them. So this is uh, this is where the infection has already started. Trying to cut everything uh, off. And the, yeah, they're basically just trying to quarantine the city. It's a great premise for, like, yeah. an add-on to Dead Island of, like, hey, this is, uh, you know, especially given the way that Dead Island kind of ends. Yeah, it absolutely is. Where there, there, there is some sort of closure to what happened on the, the events on the island. Right, right. Uh, but, but how everything plays out beforehand, they, they keep real muddy when you're playing, yep. playing the game. You just know that the military came in and tried to fix things and it didn't work. Yep. At this point, you are 
in the same city that you already played for like ten hours. So this is the in the Act Two of yeah. This Dawn. is okay. This is uh, I don't know that it's the exact same level design, but it's you know. It's the same area. It's clearly same, the same, same city. Feel. Same same shanty town. Same you know. This uh, is the game. Yeah, it takes a. It takes the first steps down the path of lin more linear corridors. Yep. yep. Less areas you know to run around you in. You know what? I think that's a, that's largely what it was. They kind of burned me out on this. Is that that? That's uh. You know what? I'm gonna pop out of here. That's obviously this is the very beginning. Right. Uh, although I love that you've just started the DLC and not even interacted with it yet, and you're already 13% of the way in, <laughs> according to that menu. But uh, anyway, uh, I'll uh, I'll fire up. Uh, this must be the one that I had already played. Uh, but yeah, that's yeah, like as that, you went through the game, it actually got it narrower kind of, yeah, and narrower. Like that's that's what I love so much about that uh, the first act is that the resort is just wide open. Like you can go everywhere. And, and, and even when you get explore. yeah, even when you get caught in between a bunch of zombies, you have you can run away. Yeah. Like you, you it's Dead Island is at its best when it's more of a toy box. Well, guess what? It's not like that in this. Remember uh, God, the sewers were the worst. Remember those corridors that you were not fond of. <sighs> It's time to travel through some corridors. Uh, so basically, you, you you make your way through. Oh god! I, d I did love those numbers, though. Yep. Anything that's got colored loot and damage numbers flying out, I'm on board. Uh, which this game definitely had. Um, but you're, you basically you're making your way through the city. Uh, they still need you to blow one of the other bridges, which has not happened yet. Um, so. You're on your own? Yes. So, oh, hello. Oh my good fucking, <laughs> wow. So, God, dude, I don't, like, I don't know where to start with the list of things that uh, really bug me about this DLC. Uh, one of one of them is that they lay the infected, you know, the, the guys that, that are really weak. Like, they only take a couple hits. Right. But they're so fast that if they gang up on you like that, you're fucking dead. Yep. And I'm probably going to die as soon as I unpause this. They, they lay those guys on so thick that I had to turn off the analog combat because it's impossible to manage them all. All right, oh, I'm so gonna, it's easier just to whack away at... I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hammer on the health kit button and maybe I won't die. Oh! oh. Nope. Could not use a health you, kit fast enough with that many guys on me. Um, and, well, so and there's that. That. Was, that. That was the problem with, as it got narrower, was that... I mean, I don't know if that's because, like, you and I really preferred... The, the analog uh, combat, and that's a consequence of that, is that you have to be more measured, and and when you got into these corridor situations, that just didn't work as well, because right. you were spending more time setting up your hits, because you were trying to be very calculated right. about it. Oh god, there's more of them. Fucking hate these guys! Man. Oh, oh. dude. Where are you? So I assume that this DLC reflects, of course, the patches they have made to the game. Uh, yeah. Since since I last touched it. Uh, was oh. that a thug? Yeah. Oh, great. It's my first thug of this DLC. Um, yes. So kicking takes stamina now. Which, which, which I, I think which, I'm which, okay which, with. Ah, quite frankly, it sucks. Oh, it sucks. Okay. And you got that many infected you're trying to deal with. Yeah, yeah you're right. That's a real bitch. Uh, God, dude, they just don't stop. Uh, there's been a couple points where I suspect they're just being randomly spawned or infinitely spawned. Wow, this is Okay, take out his legs. This is unfortunate Not sure how close I can get Oh, oh but then okay. that's gonna happen It's kind of hard to judge his swings from this perspective. Oh god oh. That's my chance to Oh no, he's getting back up. Go, go, go! God damn it. Oh, he's roaring. Can I make it? Can I make it? Fucking oh, shit. Oh man. Shit. <sighs> well, that's pretty as you get a you get a breather. Oh, he's bored with you now. Yeah, the thugs are good about just kind of wandering away. Uh, I do have this electrified uh You cannot be serious. Oh man, get oh, man. Out of my Watch fucking out. face. So how does it handle uh, sort of your weapon loadout? Uh, so that's the thing. 
Because by the end of the game, even if I was sort of tired of the game itself, like I had gotten you know, like this really sweet set of weapons that I right. really enjoyed using, and I had a very specific set of strategies I would employ with those. But I assume you must start from scratch. You have none of your not only do you start blueprints. from scratch, but oh man, I thought he couldn't make it in here with me. This is going <laughs> real bad. Uh, you notice that skills is grayed out. That's because there's no leveling in this at all. Ah. Like you pick up weapons and stuff, but you start at level 15 and you don't gain experience. You don't unlock skills. Like the RPG stuff is, is kind of taken out. So the ma so the max that any weapon can even be is level 15. Shit. I think I'm in a real bad way here. And you need to because uh, I don't have any more room to back up. If I could break his arms, that might. I get to keep dealing with these guys now. Where did she even come from? A little hole over there, I guess. Dude, this... Oh, we, need, we need to get you out of the sewers. This is not good, yeah. Oh, All right, I can't get him, get him, get him, get him. He's just gonna oh. keep knocking me down until I can hopefully kill him. Cause I got no room to maneuver in here. Weapon's almost broken, too. There you go. Fucker. Hello. Awe-inspiring cane it, knife. It is. Number infected in this DLC is uh, awe inspiring to me. Uh, those are both pretty good. What, what can I get rid of? I, I did. Know. I did enjoy the the names of the weapons. Yeah, they're pretty good. That island. If they'd only had like cane knife of the bear or something, it would have been <laughs> a little bit better. But uh, all right. Fuck you. This seems a bit uh, relentless. Yeah. It's like hard to tell if I'm just misremembering the game or... No, this is pretty pretty severe in the way that they're rolling these enemies out. Let's hope that I can get out of the sewer quickly and get above ground. Because I don't think this is much fun for anybody. <laughs> I think it's really strange to completely ditch the RPG mechanics, yeah. which largely... or. Yeah, largely defined a lot of the interesting parts of Dead On. That was an intricate part of that game. Was yeah, that's that is specifically how why you I... specked out. Come uh -oh. on! Oh! You have been killed, dude. I started at the beginning of the sewer. You have been killed. Did I? I think so. All right. So now that's this here's that same set. That guy came from the ceiling. You don't need that money. Just keep going. No, I do, because I have to repair my weapons. Oh, I guess you're right. Uh, man. Just run past that guy. I don't think that's an option with all these guys around. Yeah, not being able to infinitely kick these guys. Oh, man. Fuck off. Well, you got an achievement. Fuck that guy. I'm oh, out. Man. Out! Uh-oh. Yep. Shit. Uh, careful. Man, I'm really, uh... In a bad way. Rocking a hard place here. Alright, I just make a run for it. I can't. I can't. Okay, well... Jesus, this is... <laughs> this is terrible. This is, this is the antithesis of what made Dead Island fun. Uh... It's a guy over there will explode if I right oh, if you shoot him, yeah. Well, if I or if I get too close to him. Well, if you can shoot him, then you might be able to get him to. Yeah, that would be great. If it would, if it would stop fucking, I, I am, I'm at this point, I'm convinced it's just spawning these guys. Oh right, yeah, it has to be. Jesus. That's not gonna do it. Mm. I gotta kill these guys. Well, that seems fairly effective. Alright, he's down. I almost never used guns. I didn't either. Before. Whoa. You... Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Dude. Ah! The suit... It's, it's as though 
the game is doing its best to remind me how much I hated the sewers in yeah. the original that this I, is which was a lot. This is absolutely the worst part of that game. And they just decided to lay it right on there. I don't, I don't understand why they made that kick change, because kick is what you use to control all these fuckers. Yeah, that, that's... And now I can't, because I'm out of stamina. The kick is crowd control. I've got Molotovs, but I'll end up killing myself if I use them in here. Well, the best part is that, uh... Okay, there he is. I'm just, I'm fucking out of here. Best part is that when you die, like, you are... You lose all the stuff that you lost on that run, basically. Like, yeah. you, like health kits and stuff. I, I keep trying to play with analog combat, because that's what I'm so used to. I'm just gonna book through here. This is just going terribly. Right, shoot that guy. Go that way. Uh oh. There's not even any uh, any random healing items down here. No. You know, like no. the the little energy uh, energy drinks and yep. candy bars and stuff like that. Yeah, I, I love drinking those Coke cans or whatever generic equivalent. Holy shit! Am I out? I'm fucking out of health kits. Oh, Amazing. Man. Amazing. You know what? We're done here. <laughs> I seriously have no more interest in playing this. Is, is there anything you could show if we went back to the start of it? Actually, it may have jumped me up a checkpoint, did it? Yeah, I think you did. Because if I could have just shot that, uh, if I could have shot that, that exploding barrel as those guys were running through, everything would have been fine. Or at least better. I think so, like the, the RPG thing being ditched really bothers me given that I, I really enjoyed how other games have handled that similar situation where they, I understand wanting to tell a side story where you can't bring over what the ca the player has already done in the right. main campaign. Especially given the way that the game ends. Yeah, but, but for example, like in Bioshock 2... Oh God, this is just relentless. This never stops. Like, my weapons are gonna break at some point, or I'm just gonna die. <laughs> no, there must have been a valve over there or something that I needed to turn, but... Uh, I think there was, but... Uh... Oh, wait, did, did that get reset? It's weird, it resets some stuff, but not others. See if I can just. Oh, I can't get a line of sight to it. God. Uh oh. Damn it. You just go. It's over there on your left. Can I just go? Right and there. Not, and not, not Probably. Shoot that thing. Yeah, go right. Oh God, we're still not done here. Let's just run. Just run. I'm gonna run out of stamina at some point. Go through that door. Crying! Oh my god! I got I got no more health kits because I keep using them all because it doesn't get back we're, to we're, I think we're checkpointing. Yeah, but I'm not gonna fucking brute force my <laughs> way through this. I have no more checkpoints, or I mean, uh, health kits. Right. It's basically just as long. And there there are no healing items down here. Oh the way, man, the I these guys really hated this here. section in Dead Island. Uh, and half of my weapons are broken at this point. And still it spawns these guys. Man. It appears it's th this one is at least caught behind. First part of this DLC wasn't aggressively bad, it was just kind of... You know, it was sort of bland. Because like I said, no leveling, they took the co-op out. Uh, but 
it wasn't like this. This is, uh, wow, look at that. You guys want a party? Fuck you! Look at that shit. Well, else they're gonna glitch that door. I shouldn't, I shouldn't yell at that. Yeah, down. that's <laughs> probably for the best. Is there, where's the switch? I oh, know there's a switch. I'm gonna just go in there. Well, at least I could, uh... Maybe there's some items in here? Fix my weapons. Oh, you're dying. Goodbye, Rider White DLC. <laughs> Do you want to just delete it off your hard drive right know. now? <laughs> I don't know that I will go back and play any more of it. Uh, up to like, yeah, like I said, up to that point, you were moving through the city, which you've seen before. Yeah. Um, oh man, where is my Sam B? That's really strange. Ha. Huh. That's weird. Did I just miss something? Nope. He was not there, right? I had not seen him there before. Okay. I'm not totally losing my this mind. This game really... It's connect, connect is... Are you, <sighs> what are you, is that plugged in? Is Damn, this game Dead messing Island. with us? Damn. You're really pushing your luck. <sighs> yeah, that stuff is just... It's, that was not... I mean, a, a loot-driven, quest-oriented, open-world RPG with co-op is what Dead Island was. Yep. That was a lot of fun. That's... Uh, that DLC has no RPG, no co-op, uh, very limited loot, it's not open, uh, and there are no achievements. If you care about achievements, there are none. It's, so, it seemed, we were, we were talking that. about this before, before we started recording, but it seems to fit the theory that I have with Tech, uh, Techland that they don't know what's good about their games, or they like this seems to not reflect anything that anyone would have said, if I want more Dead Island, Please give me this, Techland. Yeah. And that does not reflect that whatsoever. No. Uh, maybe you're interested in fighting zombies in an arena, though. Uh, maybe? Is, is it an open arena? I, no corridors? God, I hope so. Are there infected down there? It's weird. In the, in the first act, in the, in the resort, the infected are like kind of the piddly fodder enemies that are sort of nothing, you know? Yep. And then the deeper into the game you get, I don't know if it's the level scaling or what, but they start doing more and more damage to the point that when you get ganged up on like that, they're basically the most dangerous thing in the entire game. Yep. Uh, yeah, at some point, the thugs actually become really no big deal. Yeah, well, the thugs are supposed to be like the elite enemies, and, and you can easily manage those guys by yourself. Yeah, I would just get like a baseball, uh, like a really powered up baseball bat, and i just break their arms. Yeah, and they were basically powerless. But those guys, the way they, they crowd around you and hit you from all sides... You can go from full health to dead in, in seconds. Anyway, uh, that Rider White DLC is $10, and for the reasons uh, outlined previously, I don't think I recommend that you get it. Uh, but this arena stuff is also out there. This came out a while ago, Yeah, though. this came out last month or late November. Yeah. Interesting how much story set up there yeah, is. Yeah, I didn't expect any of this. I haven't even looked at this stuff yet. Um, if you bought a new copy of this game, you have this. Or you have to punch in a code, but you can get it for free. Or this is also, I think, $10. This is a very Day of the Dead vibe. If you've, Kinda, seen, yeah. if you've ever seen that sequel, the military base. Well, what kind of arena are you talking about exactly? They're survivors, Major. We have four arenas. <laughs> I think it's really funny that they tried to contextualize all this stuff mm -hmm. with story elements. Each arena is set up to offer soldiers the ultimate test. The task is to kill all the infected before they can kill you. There's only one rule. Survival. Yeah, I'm not sure I see the point of this. That it's a test of great, yes. Rite of passage. We execute our last order and slaughter the infected. Those who fight best will be rewarded. Only the strong will survive. Sure, all right, let's do it. Yeah, there's like a whole little quest because hub kind of thing the here. What? There's new loot? 
I want to. I want to go make that weapon. What is this? That? This seems way more like, like is, what you want out of. This is better already than that other stuff. What was that red hot blade? Mm hmm. Hmm. Sure. Why not? I am very sad they took the uh, item dupe bug out of this game. Yeah. That is really unfortunate. It allowed you to mitigate some of the repetitiveness of the game yep. uh, later when it's just, look, I don't want another weapon. You're not dropping better weapons for me, so I'm going to keep this weapon. I just yep. have to go repair it. Yep. Like either way, I'll be fine. You? That's another story. All right. Well, I think that thing is burning up. Got a shopkeeper here. Down here. I don't think they're coming for us. We haven't heard a word, have we? Oh, okay. You just kind of mosey on into a. Oh, they even arena. let you. They even let you know, like how hard they are. Yeah. Fuck off. Yeah, I'll go. I'll go check one of those out. I guess you just kind of fast travel back into the main story. Yeah. Whenever, whenever you feel like it. I guess you earn XP and stuff in here. I would assume that. Uh, seems like it. I mean, it off. seems to reflect everything you've done. Kind of come here and grind if you feel like it. Maybe get some new stuff. Uh, I'm not looking for weapons. I should probably repair those Anyone stuff. Says like. God, man, that other DLC just left such a bad taste in my mouth. Yeah, that was like, not good. That makes me like this game less in general. Seeing that stuff. Even the parts of it that I really liked a lot. Oh, well. The item duping was also really great to destroy the economy in this game. <laughs> yep, yep. Man, I had a lot of money. Uh, C is hard. I said D was moderate. Uh, let's see what we got going on up here. Very hard. Sure. Uh, okay. Oh, so you can you can enter this place co-op, but yeah. I think you can you can play the arenas co-op. I guess you just have to do it from the beginning. Uh, story had that little whoa, dude. What? Whoa. This is like totally is... new stuff, isn't it? Yeah, I don't remember going into any caves. Yeah, there were no caves. This looks really nice, actually. Oh, it's a horde mode. So you can start the wave okay. now if you want. Okay. When they said when they say arena, I picture a coliseum. You know, like a, like a very yeah. Plain, like circular kind of area. So if you get, I wonder if you gain experience from all this. I, I would hope so. Turn the analog back on. Oops. Um, yeah, this is much more of like a gear, gears, like kind of wave-based survival stuff. And uh, I like the look of this environment. Yeah, this though. looks this looks really nice. Goodbye. Yeah, you're getting XP. Wow. So very easy, they weren't kidding. <laughs> like, not even at the very beginning of the game do the guys die from a single kick. Let's get it on. Okay. Oh, wow, there's, uh, so there's little specific challenges for, uh, for your level. Yeah, with, uh, XP bonuses. I'm not sure how you're gonna pull this one off. It's gonna be tough. But I think I'll be okay. Yeah, you're pulling ammo off of these guys. Yeah, yeah, this seems like a a great way to grind. And they have a little uh, repair shed. Uh, I saw somewhere around yeah, here. Yeah, there's a, looks like there's a workbench. Yeah, and I'm getting a decent amount of money for waves. So. Yeah, one of those guys said six hundred dollars. Yeah. Who would have thought that the horde mode is like the the quality DLC <laughs> and the uh, the story mode stuff seems pretty yeah. throwaway. I'd like to see how that ends. Like, I don't know if I'm gonna go suffer through that sewer again. That was that shit was bad. Yeah. But uh, but that cutscene at the beginning was kind of intriguing. You know, I'm I'm curious what was going on there. It definitely it sets up what may be going on in a potential future Dead Island game. Dead whatever they call it. D Dead World is the domain registration so, so floating that, around. That's out there. Yeah. Which 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 conveniently ties into the way that, yeah, that the makes game sense. finishes. That makes sense. You know, virus gets off the island. 
Now the whole world is zombified. Oh, so and there are achievements in this one. Yeah, there are. This this has achievements. So this is a yeah. So I think it's it's because uh, if I understand uh, what I've read, uh, Microsoft has quarterly um, like requirements or, or standards for for achievements. Mm. So you can only add, I think it's 250 points per quarter to a game. Oh God. That's that's. Uh, uh, and they added uh, they added a full. Come here. They added a full 250 points to this game with the arena. And since it just came out not long ago. Sure. Oh God. Ah. Well, the arena was supposed to come out right after launch. Yeah. Uh, and then the game ran into all the the issues, especially on PC. So they they pushed back arena, thinking. Probably rightfully so. We cannot ask people to pay more money for this game when we we need to figure out our issues with the, the existing yeah. game that they've already paid sixty bucks for. Game definitely had issues at launch. Yeah, uh, like, definitely less so on on three sixty. PC seemed to be like where the real mess was. Yeah. Oh boy, it's infected. Stop hitting me while I'm stuck in an animation, you fucking dicks. Zombies don't... Look, and you're even getting health here. Everything we didn't like about the other DLC <laughs> is fixed in this one. Yeah, I'll just play this, jeez. Uh, yeah, did I come... Well, looks like I didn't come in with my health kits, but that's okay. Actually, can I? Oh, I got all this stuff. No, maybe I was just out of health kits. I don't know. Uh, anyway. All right, well. I think the, the, the idea is... Yeah. The idea is across. It yes. is a wi yes, horror like mode, wave-based survival. But it looks like you can do co-op with the, if you go yeah, with yeah. people. My understanding is that yeah, it's totally possible. This seems neat. Yeah, this is not terrible. I wonder if the other rooms have, have different environments. Yeah, I would assume so. Sorry, it's trying to avoid a repeat of the last time. Uh, have little mini challenges is neat. That adds, that's a nice yeah, layer. Yeah, it's kind of cool. I mean, the, the combat is not the only thing about this game that, that makes it good, but uh, it is one of the things. So if you're going to play this mode that is full of the combat, you could probably do worse. Uh, for instance, you could go play that other DLC. Yeah. <laughs> you, you could. Yeah. It's technically a thing that you could do. But I don't think I would recommend it based mm. on what I've seen so far. Uh, but anyway, two separate pieces of Dead Island DLC are out now, if you so desire. Find them on the Xbox Live Marketplace or the PlayStation Network. Um, oh, what a way to this! Is, oh, oh! I will live to fight another day. 